Well, we're going to be testing the Beta C mag out again today. And if you don't remember what happened to us last time. Boy, that was a funny clip, wasn't it? Now we got this new Beta C back from Beta C. Uh, took us about five weeks and about ten phone calls and waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, let's take it out to range and see how it functions with 100 rounds. Well, we just got a beta C back from beta. We're gonna see how it works with a 100 round mag dump. Let's see how it goes. We're going to demonstrate now why the mag was jamming. First round takes off, second round there's not much spring tension to bring it up quickly enough, and third round is still in there, and you can see how long it took for it to rise, uh, which would definitely cause a jam problem, and you can see the follower is not up completely. That is what's causing the, mag the mag malfunction. Well, as you can see, the beta seam jammed at the range once again, at least this time it didn't fall apart. But we're going to have to send it back to Beta C and see what they'll do first this time. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm very agitated with this. For a $400 retail mag, I have over $400 into it as a dealer. And it's still not functioning right. And now i got to send it back again. And I'll tell you what, it, if what they say is true, they're saying that they're shipping these mags to our troops in Afghanistan. And if they are, um, I hope... What, happens, what happened to me with this mag and the mag before it doesn't happen to any of our troops because I want to keep them safe. So let's see what Beta C has to say about it.